let's just get into it. So, we're going to make a new project. Double save. New composition. 1920 by 1920. Okay, so that's our canvas. And we're going to have four elements nested in the, that canvas at 32 times. So, the way we get the width for that is we just divide that by 32. So, 60 frames, 60 uh, pixels. We got our tail number one, so we're going to call that number one. We're going to grab a rectangle and just double click in our composition. And then we give it a stroke of two and the scale of two. So that's our uh, tile one. So now we need our second tile. We're going to give this a width of 40. And we're going to also remove, I just opened that up by hitting command and clicking the arrow. Uh, we're going to delete the fill. We're going to hit arm and rotate by 45 degrees. We're actually going to scale this by 25. Okay. We're also going to hit T and give it <clears throat> and opacity, <clears throat> pardon me, I'm a bit, a bit ill. Uh, give it an opacity of 50%. We're going to copy and paste that. Select. Select it. Hit T. Put that to 100%. Put that to 100%. And that. A stroke of 4. For our final line, we're going to copy and paste it again. And give it a width of 40. Okay. So we've got our different elements. We can see there. We need our main kind of driver that's going to drive the uh, selection of which uh, tile is selected in uh, at a time. So 1920 by 1920. We're going to be using noise for this. So we're going to right click. New. Solid. 1920 by 1920. We're going to open here, we're going to hit noise, or fractal noise. We are going to go to transform, we're going to scale it to 600. We're going to go down to complexity and hit 1. And we're going to go up to contrast, and we're going to give that a contrast of 300. And then maybe, let's give it 1000. Okay. Increase the brightness a little bit. We're going to go to evolution. We're going to alt click evolution. That's going to open up this. We're going to delete that. And we're going to hit time times 70. That's going to evolve the fractal over time. We hit play. It's moving. We're going to let that render out. Whilst that's rendering out, we're going to hit mosaic. Mosaic. Okay. So there's 32 tiles. Uh, by 32 that's 1920 by 32 that gives us 60 so we need 32 blocks by 32 blocks of a width of 16 okay I'm over explaining but you get the gist so this is our driver so we're gonna hit select it hit enter and call it driver okay now we need our main com we're gonna call this main we're going to throw our driver in and we're also going to bring in our different elements. Okay. We can hide this for now. And actually, I'm going to only bring in one element for now. I'm going to align it to the top corner by to open up this window. You go window, align, and you just select that and it should open up. Right. I'm going to go to our effects and type in Repertile. CC Repertile. Add that to our first tile. So we want to expand the right by 1920 and expand down by 1920. That's going to give us a field of tiles. Now we need to select these individual tiles based on the brightness value of our fractal noise. So we want our white areas to be our points. So the way we do that is going into the driver. We add our extract value, our extract function, so extract. And we double click. 
and we want to basically remove all of the white. So if we go down into our transparency grid and just take away everything that isn't white. So that should be good. Now we can view our initial tile and we can just select that now. And that's now giving us just the tile we need. Okay. So I'm going to duplicate the driver. I'm just going to turn it on for now. So what we want is inside of this white. We need to actually reverse this now. So we need to bring this past. So that should be good. So that's getting right up there. All right. Yeah. Okay. We're going to copy and paste this. And mask it. There. With that, then we're going to drag that onto one by holding Alt. And there we're seeing that. Same again, so we're going to duplicate the driver. Turn it on so we can see. We're going to take away 64. And we're going to take away 64. And I'm actually just going to bring this out a little bit more. What we can also do is go into the driver. To add a little bit more um, contrast. I'll actually kind of reduce the contrast. Just under mosaic. I'm just going to blur this by like 300 pixels. It should help just blend that transition a little bit better. So if we go back in. Just making sure that we definitely have black. Some black areas come back into our main. That's just thickening out this. So I'm going to copy and paste number two. Drag that up to the driver. Masking it there. And I'm actually going to apply the three. Again, we're seeing what's happening here. Same again. Dragging that all the way to zero. And we can add that to 76. Okay. If we turn that on. That's now giving us a mask for the rest. So, duplicating three, pulling it up, masking it there, selecting number three, and then just applying it there. Yeah. So, we've got a doubling up here. We can go back to two and just pulling that down, just so there's no doubling up. Okay. There we have it. That's essentially the uh, system. Uh, you know, you can tweak this, uh, use whatever maps you want to use as a driver. You could have footage of yourself. It really doesn't matter. And, you know, you can increase the fidelity of, you know, the amount of points you need. Um, so there's a lot of uh, opportunity here. Um, yeah, quick and easy one. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Um, you know, please, please give me any feedback that you you think would be useful for me uh you know i enjoy doing these videos for you guys and i want to produce more of them uh i'm gonna produce more of them whether you like them or not because i enjoy it but yeah um just you know stay tuned and see what see what's going on all right nice one guys